so resistance training. Uh, so I uh, used to do it a lot. Um, so I would love to do more. So going back to what I used to do, I used to work out at least one time a week, which was intense. It was for two hours at the gym or at my house. I like to do it every other day, mixing it up, upper body, lower body. Uh, what we tell clients is to to make sure not to forget your back and hips um, and, and upper thighs because for longevity, which is what we're here to talk about, that's crucial. As, as you get older, you're losing a lot of mass. In fact, uh, particularly males after uh, the age of 40, they're losing it one or two percent a year. Um, but women too, they also lose testosterone. And one of the, the the most dangerous things to do is to lose muscle mass in your hips because I think we all know of people or even our family members who have fallen over when they're older and broken a hip or broken a femur. And that's a really fast way to ending your life because if you're frail and old, you often don't recover from that. Anyway, the, the, the point really is move. You've got to move. If you want to live a long time, you have to move. Walking is great for maintaining those hips. And lower back, you'll feel better. You'll have a bit bigger spring in your step. When I did a lot of weights, um, I not just looked better, but actually felt so much better. Um, I felt like I was walking on air. Um, and uh, that wasn't just because I bought new shoes. It was because the muscles in my legs were good. And, and for men and women to maintain hormone levels, particularly testosterone, you want to maintain that muscle mass. Your leg muscles, your back muscles, these big muscles, they will signal to your genitals to produce an adrenal system to produce these hormones and that's one of the best possibly the best way to maintain your hormone levels as you get older <laughs>